what's up you guys yep it's about that time again i want to welcome you all back to the channel and in today's video we're going to basically do a garden walkthrough yeah it's like a garden tour right so i'm going to show you guys our brand new vegetable garden that we've been working really hard on and you know give you guys a walkthrough and things that we've been doing and we kind of things that we used to do traditionally we kind of like threw that out the window and start integrating different things in our garden and just combination of plants we start to use now that can benefit each other we starting to do things like that and we want you guys to see it like the combination that i got right next to me right now with the caladiums and the the lilies <laughs> these lilies is about almost the seven foot man these, these lilies are tall and let me get up i want you guys to see what's going on you know as i come come out my back door i want i run straight into this um caladiums you know i got them on both sides so they look pretty and even when you come around the corner to go inside they look lovely as ever and I, of course i got the hostas right over here but i want you guys to see what i've been doing like the combination um, I've been trying to tell you guys about if you come close you're gonna see I got some stallions over here I plant like four stallions you know my wife like to use this right underneath the lily you guys can see see the difference these lilies are so tall I'm I'm about five eight these lilies got me like they like six seven six five the most right so we're gonna move along right so I'm gonna show you guys my window box my window box up here you guys see the the Goldilocks Jenny drifting down. I want this Goldilocks to come at least right here. If it can give me over there, that would be perfectly fine. And the top of this window box. Last year I had um, super tunas in it, bubble gum, right? But this year I want something totally different. We got the the caladiums. It's supposed to be covered in caladiums all the way through. You can see them popping up right now, right at the top that's gonna look that's gonna look beautiful i did not want to do the same thing again this year but with this yes i like the yellow with the dark green that combination that mixture whoo that mixture is nice all right we're gonna keep moving you guys can see my kids they they really love cherry tomatoes they eat this cherry tomato like grape this is the yellow cherry tomato and i got the red one right next to it see the dark green and the yellow right next to it they already got little baby tomatoes coming right there see they clean this tree the minute these things turn yellow or red they're gonna pick them and i got right behind that i got the the golden raspberry i can't find one for you guys but they already cleaned it out but this tree been performing, it been doing exactly what I expected, producing berries and keep producing, right? And right behind it, we got the avocado tree. We got one, we got two. This one is struggling a little bit, right? But it's gonna come up, it's gonna come into itself, man. Give it some time. It, it had a rough winter and I brought it out here. So I'm gonna give it some time and see what happened. Other than that, like I said to you guys, the combination of plants, man, See these, these basil? I, I put the basil here. Last year I had the kale. I went with the basil just to keep these insects away, man. Because basil creates such a, a powerful smell. The insects kind of get confused. So last year, there are crazy insects on the kale. But this year, you can see right now, there's no insects bothering the strawberry. Some might remain at the top because I don't know if the smell can get all the way up there. But I got some sage, I got some lemon blend, I got some cilantro. Yes, I have to prune this, right? You know, the strawberries. We got a ton of strawberries from these two things. And I got the knockout rose over here, but this is what I want you guys to see. Having these blueberry in this vertical raised bed, it's been amazing. See, I try to tell people that it's gonna still produce berries for you regardless what see him and these are some big berries these are these are some big berries man this one is you know it got some big ones it got some small ones but this one over here 
This is a sweet one, man. What you got? It's a little smaller, but it's so sweet. I love the combination I got here. These are three different variety of plants. And right here, too, I got a blueberry over here. See? Yeah, thanks to my kids, they clean them trees up. And this is what I deal with every day, y'all. When I come out in the morning time, you know, I look around the garden. At nighttime, rodent come out, they dig up the stuff. So you can just put that back. I'm gonna put something in there later to keep them away. As we move over to the raspberry, you guys remember the raspberry shortcake. I was expecting them to get a little bigger, but this size is it's perfect. Like I stated in those that video, you got raspberry on top of raspberries. <laughs> you, you, have, you have no idea how much raspberry we got from these things, man. We got so much. There's raspberry all over. Here, I'll pick one for you guys, see? Beautiful raspberry. I love this. This has been a, a high performer for us. This one and the, the blueberry. They've been performing really good. Knockout rows again. So I'm gonna backpedal as I backpedal. We run right into the hydrangea. And forgot the name. Super tunias though. We're doing really good. The blend, see the white? I really can't remember, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna put it up there, y'all. Look how it looks. You can't go wrong with that. Really, really good. That's that's the water tank. I collect rainwater from that. Water the plants. Like my new seedling, they love, love the rainwater. They come up like a matter of three days, right? Same thing again. This never failed, man. Every year. This is gonna give me blooms all through the season. All through summer, this is gonna look beautiful. It's gonna die off, some of it is gonna die off, but new one's gonna come back up. You guys remember the strawberry? The maxi strawberry? This is the sweetest strawberry I have ever had. The maxi strawberry perform way better than any one I have. So check this out, man. The kids really cleaned this one down, and the size of the strawberries is ridiculous. But look, heavy performer too. This strawberry just been doing this thing all season long. You just gotta make sure you water this at least three times a week, especially when you have them in a raised bed. You gotta water them. When you come over here, <laughs> I know you guys remember this one. The Silver Fall. We're gonna get this look that we wanted. We want this thing to cover this basket. You can see it's already doing that. See the Silver Fall is drifting over. But the only thing I could tell you guys, you gotta make sure you untangle them, right? And bring them over yourself. Kind of like tame them over. You see it? But look how this look. The top is gonna be covered and the bottom Give it a month or two, and you guys really get to see how this is gonna look. The Majestic Palm. I brought this one from outside. I had this one inside all winter long. Look guys, it's still, still performing. These trees just love the sunlight, man. I can't complain. I love these trees. And same thing for the other container like this. It's doing the exact same thing. It's looking real good. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you guys the next one exactly like that. I apologize for the noise. I have no control of these crazy people over here. But uh, check this one out. See what I mean when I say untangle them? See, they tangle up. And you wanna untangle them so they can drift. See, ah, there we go. They're gonna come over regardless, but you, wanna, you want them to come over looking right. See that? All right, I'm gonna take you guys somewhere right now that y'all never saw before, the vegetable garden. We've been working really hard on the vegetable garden. Me, my wife, my kids, we've been trying to get that thing really nice. We had to level the ground. We had to dig out the peach tree. And by the way, I had to take that peach tree out because it was infected. We got it out and <laughs> take a walk with me. All right, guys, so you guys can see we added a, a gate inside here so we can get inside of that vegetable garden. The last time we had a chair here, remove the chair. If you look over there, I put the chair right under the tree. You can come and you can sit, sit down there. 
You can read a book. You can have a nice conversation. What I did, if you look carefully, I kind of carved the tree out to give us that, that little overshade. So it's perfect for that, right? All right, cool. But come back to these channel lilies. You can see the Australian channel lilies. It haven't been stopped performing. This is not the full potential yet, but it's already taller than me. This thing is going to continue to keep growing. Same thing with this one right here. This variety, this is all green. This variety, it's a little slower growing, but it's going to reach to that size in no time. It takes these things about two weeks to, to grow, right? Really, really fast. And my pear tree is right behind it. If you come a little close, I got a pear right here. And this is the only one on the tree. This is the only pear. That's our first one. So we're going to let that one rock. So as we come into this vegetable garden, right? We got two flower pots, super tunias, super tunias. And I forgot what I put in there. I put something great in here though. They look really nice. They already coming up, plant them from seeds. So they're gonna take some time. But when they come up, the flowers gonna look really nice. So everywhere in this video, you guys probably gonna see tomato plants, right? As Soon as you walk in, tomato plants right here right over here this entire bed remember when i said cucumbers last year we only plant like one cucumber plant this year we plant like six you got two over there you got two over there each trellis have two cucumber plants you got two over here right and on top and inside of these this trellis come with a little thing that you could drop down container right i'm gonna put some flowers so i can attract the the bees to come you know, cross-pollinate these things. When you look in the bed, I got some celeries over there. I got some carrots in this bed. And in this bed, I got lettuce, so catnip, parsley, cilantro. So this bed is gonna look, in about a month or so, it's gonna look ridiculous. It's gonna be pretty. So we changed this entire section. I got some mint. If you point that right over there, see the mint? I got some mint over there and we got some Radish, right over there. They're already coming up. These are quick growers. Within two to three days, they germinate really, really fast. Really, really fast. And you can see behind me, I got some emerald green behind me. I've got four of them right behind me. I put them in containers. I did not want to put them in the ground because right by the fence, there's, there's a concrete line there. So when I try to dig down, it's too much concrete there. I'm not trying to get do, do that kind of work. We got the peanuts right over here. We got the peanuts in the grow bag. We got more potatoes. <laughs> I mean, more tomatoes. Sorry about that. We got some tomatoes here as we walk through this, this garden. We got tomatoes right here. We got all the potatoes. The potatoes that you guys saw that I plant in the basement, they're right here. They're right here, y'all. Look how they look. I'm gonna show you guys. I think last year I did one grow bag. This year, I wanna do like two or three, right? These are two only. And they're almost at full size. Potatoes grow really, really fast. You can keep coming down. And this garden, this vegetable garden, is not finished yet. We, we still put in stuff. We got more tomatoes there. The combinations, I forgot to mention again. I got the, I got yellow and red tomato, ju jubilee tomato mix with, okay. This is the wrong tag. But th this tomato is a mixed brand. So they're gonna perform really, really well. So we're gonna check out my creation. This creation, I really love this. This system that we did this year. See, I kind of protect the entire plant. Last year, this is some bok choy. Last year, this entire thing got destroyed. They didn't even make it. The bugs just destroyed them. The caterpillars just destroyed them. And I decided to put the kale right over here. See the kales? The kale is right over there. When you come down, that's the bok choy. No, we love that. We love to plant that. And we have the spinach right over here. Gotta protect the spinach. For some reason, the bugs just love that spinach. More radish over there. We have some onion seeds all the way in the back. And yes, you guys see what goes on with this blackberry tree. Every year is the same thing. Every single year, blackberry, blackberry. See it? 
this this is one of my kids' favorite tree. This blackberry, every single way on this tree, no matter where you look. Wow, I see one, girls. I think this is the first one. Is a blackberry. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. See, as we go, they get to eat in that process. So. I love that tree, but one day I think I'm gonna have to move this tree because I want it to get this full potential, man. And as we come over, we make our way over there. The plum tree been doing what the plum tree been doing. They've been doing really good. So these are the strawberry. Yeah, more strawberries. The kids love these. And see, we put this blackberry inside of uh, inside of a container this is the blackberry cakes look it will still produce blackberry in container y'all it doesn't really matter see i just want to show that to you guys i'm going to show you guys something i never tried before i never tried putting peas inside of a hanging basket but these are black eyed peas <laughs> i wanted to try this to see how it would come out something totally different to me but they've been coming out really good look how they've been growing gorgeous and this is the peach tree you guys i mean the plum tree you guys remember the plum tree and it's, it's, it's berries all over this thing i gotta prune this out a little bit it's a little filthy on that side need some tidying up and as we come over here this is the white eggplant i put the eggplant in this um container this grow bag i never planned this before neither the white one i always do the black beauty and again, this is the raspberry shortcake. Put one of those in container, just so you guys can see the difference with the other ones next to each other and the other one by itself. And the performance is, is kind of the same. You still get raspberry, see? You still get raspberry. Doesn't really matter. And this one is more, it's more full. It don't got to share energy with, with anything but itself. Plum tree again. The plum tree. Let's get to the plum tree. This plum tree been really great. It have plums on it. See, the plums is now getting to size. It have plums, plums here, plums there, plums all over the tree, right? All on the top. But the tree, it grew to a new size. It's almost ten feet, or taller than ten feet. Check that out. But I'm gonna prune that back. Come fall more peas I got more peas in these containers see I really dig the peas right there I want to see how that comes out I got some peppers I got peppers over here and in the bed that I have that you guys saw the tulip bulbs I'm gonna actually have pumpkin the pumpkin I actually have pumpkin in that um same grow bag mixed with the with the white eggplant so the pumpkin is gonna drift right on out onto this bed and I'm gonna tame it to stay inside there because those things can get out of control. Summer breeze strawberry. I want you guys to see this container, this urn. It is loaded with strawberry, with blueberries. It's loaded, check this out. It had more blueberries than leaves. Check this out, it's loaded with blueberries. Just a matter of time till it gets dark and it's gonna get cleaned out. Check. I'm really impressed with that one. Again, plum tree. This plum is a little bigger than the other one you saw. Check this out. Santa Rosa plum tree. This, this tree grow really fast, y'all. They got plums, plums, plums. They have a few plums. I'm not mad at this tree. Every year, this tree um, show us what, it's can, what it can do. And I have more blueberries. I didn't even notice that. Check this out. I got some blueberries there. And I'm picking blueberries right now. Wow, see? These are a little smaller. These are the ones I was telling you about. They're a little smaller, but they're sweet. Yeah. There you go, Maddie. They're sweet blueberries. That's what I do with the containers. I had the tulip bulbs, the layers. I just threw them on top and leave them for next year. And I, I'm not gonna interfere with them. I don't want those bulbs to get destroyed. If they're asleep right now, 
But if you look on top, I put some cantaloupe. These are cantaloupe right on top of the bed, right on top of the tulip. Cantaloupe, they don't, the roots don't grow crazy and they're gonna die anyway. I put them right on top of the tulip bulbs and so I could get some cantaloupe going all the way this way, some going all the way back that way. And this, I think this is pumpkin too. This is pumpkin, yeah. Same thing. When the pumpkin start running, I wanted to have some pumpkins back here too. That's the key lime. And this is exciting. I want you guys to see this. This is the Fiji apple tree, right? And this is the first apple. This tree is barren. So yeah, I have other apple trees all around this tree, but this one kind of impressed me. And if you look over here, I remember having this blackberry um, bush right here. I took this off of the mother one, the big blackberry bush you guys saw. I propagate off of that. This is what you're looking at right now. This thing is getting big, man. It's getting really huge. And see, look on the floor. There's more cantaloupe. I got them popping up all over. Cantaloupe and watermelon, I got them popping up, popping up. So this bed should be covered in the middle of August. It should look really nice. And when you come over here, you guys remember this area. So this container right here, this bed, is gonna have all peppers in it. Banana peppers, all different type of peppers. This is Caribbean peppers. What you're looking at, these are some of my favorite peppers. This is Caribbean peppers. This is banana peppers, red peppers. We got green peppers. We got all different kinds of peppers coming up in this bed. And in the front, you guys remember the banana tree. The banana tree, they've been doing really good. You can see it over there. And in the front of this, I got more tomato plants. I got tomato plants here. And I like the, I got some super tunias in the front, which draw in the bees and you know, certain wildlife that you want to come in. But if you look over to that Fiji tree, look up, it's just like the plum tree. It's almost at 10 feet tall. Look how tall it is, man. For some reason, this year they just took off. They really did. Just come over here to this bed. I want you guys to see something. This is romaine. This is romaine lettuce. You see how this lettuce, see that's why I like to have stuff off the ground. It's so difficult for bugs and insects to attack it. This lettuce did not get destroyed this year. It's absolutely perfect. And I got more lettuce in the back. I got a blend of romaine lettuce right in the back. But this bed is very unique. I got the, the Black Beauty eggplant right here. And in the row, I have red okra and green okra. So, you know, these plants grow about Yay tall, yay tall. Same goes for the okra. They're gonna grow this way. So I kept them right in the back and the lettuce right in the front. And this Musa Baju banana tree, you know, it's gonna get real big. It's gonna provide a little shade for these plant because the sun is gonna get real steaming pretty quick. And again, if you come over here, there's more blueberry plants. I want you guys to see. Back here is so nice. Check it out. Literally, you could you could pick one of these things off. Like that, see this blueberry? You, could, you don't have to pick one by one. You could just snip this off, and you get a whole thing of blueberry. They're all over. Blueberry like crazy, this bed. That's why I love the blend. Look how big this is, of blueberries. You get a nice size blueberry. Telling you guys, these things are sweet. Straight back. All blueberries. Over there. All right, guys. I want to show you guys something. Ah, I got to get down. So these are my squash. I don't want to leave out my squash. I'm going to show you guys my squash. My squash is right here. I got two squash over here. One here, one over here. And this squash is going to use this apple tree as a trellis. Yes, we're going to use this apple tree. This apple tree is going to be good for something this year. It have apple on it, but you know, the birds get to that apple, it's over. And I have some bitter melon over here. This bitter melon also is gonna use this apple tree as a trellis. They're gonna run all over this apple tree and they're gonna give us a lot of vegetables on this one. I wanna point out to you guys something. 
That's my pomegranate tree. I really thought this tree had died in the winter time, but it survived a long winter. And I know what I'm gonna do for it next year. I'm gonna have to take care of it way better because it's it's coming back, but it's kind of, I have to struggle a little bit to come back. All right, here we go. As we move out, let me show you guys the box that my wife did. So me and my wife, the dahlias. Man, the dahlias kind of completely took over this box. Completely. It made me want to take the dahlias out and just redo this entire box. Look at this. It just looked like too much greenery. But down here, you can see the, the super petunias and the sedum. And check this out. I got a hosta over here. And look, something just really, really like this. Really, really like. I've been putting neem oil on this. It doesn't matter. They just go after this thing like crazy. Check this out. This is lavender. Look how big this is. I put one in a container last year. Look, look how it turned out. And the lavender the smell. It smells really, really good. It keeps so much bugs away, but not the bug for this one. I think this is caterpillars. They are ripping this thing to pieces. All right, guys. And you guys could get a really good view of the blackberries you come close you can see the blackberry the blackberry look real excellent my italian plum tree it's right here i love this plum tree i can't wait till it starts fruiting and it's gonna give us some really good plums in the future but for now we're gonna move along same thing here i got some dollies over here this bench see what i mean i come i just chill on this bench and I see this dahlia right here. Beautiful dahlia. Check that out. But again, same like the other box, you know? You learn from your mistakes. I'm not putting dahlias again in the back. They're nice, they look beautiful. But check this. Psh, bang. I'm gonna put some steak and I'm gonna stand that up, right? So we move along. So we're gonna move to the front so you guys can see what we got going on. Out in the front, we got a few things there. That interest you guys so stick around we got a couple things coming up oh yeah check out the lilies y'all i got some bloomers we got some bloomer right here these are some of the first one we have blooming check this out beautiful and another plum tree and this tree just does whatever it wants it creates shade the birds like this tree and it got so big it's about 10, 10, really nice. So we're gonna move to the front so you guys get to see what we're doing. But I wanna spin this camera around so you guys can see the entire garden, how beautiful it'll look. Check it out, y'all. This is what we've been working on. It's a lot of greenery. And you may think there's mosquitoes. I work my best to keep them away. Not that much. You might find a few, but not that much. Everything looking good. That's a back step. I love how that looks. When you come over here, look, look, look at the entryway. That's that new look we was fishing for, man. That looks really nice. You walk in there, you get a nice vibe, a nice feel, vegetable garden. It's almost complete, but we gonna go to the front. All right, so we going in the front. All right, guys, as you come through the gate, first thing you're gonna run into, let me just close this gate. I don't want Jax to come out. The elephant ears. See, I got them in the same place. I want to leave them over here. So they're doing really fine. Uh, don't have nothing with them. Usually nothing bothers these elephant ears. They're perfectly fine. And I got some right over here. Supertonias again. And I got elephant ears. They're gonna pop out in every different location. And these are the palladiums that I had in the basement. See? They had a rough winter, y'all, but they still come back. You leave them in a 60 to 
the 70 degree, they'll come back. But I want to get to this window box real quick. <laughs> this window box look, it looks crazy, right? Because I thought I took out all of the lilies, but I didn't. There were still some in there and they just shot up and I wound up leaving them, totally forgot about it. Got some petunias in here and some Goldilocks. Look how these things look. They already coming down. They getting ready to touch the floor. Hopefully, right? So, all right, we got some ornamentals. We got some grass here. We got some ornamental grass put in the containers. They look really good. These are very nice. We got some lilies. We got a ton of lilies, man. Lilies over here. They're, they're getting ready to open up. Some beautiful yellow, white, mixed color, champagne looking. Again, ornamental. Right here, we have more caladiums. So we went caladium, grass, caladium, grass, you know. We got more there, all the way down the driveway. See how that look? That's gonna look pretty. And over here is just a window box that looks messy. I gotta prune this out. This ornamental grass, I, I gotta fix this up. It's just something that don't bother me. I like the rugged look. You know, it looks nice to me. All right, guys, so we have more lilies over here. You guys remember this lily? This lily getting big every single year. Every year they get big. And you guys remember the endless summer? Check that out. Look at our backup. Look at the look, the contrast this gives out. Very beautiful, right? right? I'm gonna jump inside of this greenery and explain some of these plants. If you look down here, we got see them on the ground, all the way in the ground. You guys know the knockout rose, the bush and the tree next to each other. They complement each other really, really good. But when they blooming, they look stunning. And I got the hydrangea tree over here. It's a limelight, it looks really good. I did not expect this butterfly bush to get this big. Check this out. Really, really good, all right? I'm gonna go inside more. So you guys, you're gonna barely see me, but you're gonna, you're gonna hear me. This butterfly bush just took out, check it out. It's getting ready to bloom. It's starting to bloom. And this um Japanese maple, I'm gonna sooner or later, I'm gonna have to remove this Japanese maple. Yeah. It looks pretty, but I prefer to have it in the container. And my, my lilac tree, here too and I kind of put some plants in the front front I totally forgot what this is and I thought I had the tag there but I didn't this supposed to get about four feet I wanted it right behind of the tulip bulbs let's get about four feet and it, it give a nice color a nice orange looking color to the front I'm gonna put more going straight down so it don't look blank, because without the tulips here, over here just look blank. But I'm gonna probably put some containers over there, because I don't want to disturb the tulip bulbs. You guys can see in the front, I got hostas going straight across. These are the ones I planted last year, just so when the, the daffodils and stuff die back, you know, these are gonna pop up. And that's exactly what happened. They popped up, and they looking marvelous. All right, guys, you guys remember the Travis Roach tree? This tree is coming along real good. At first, it was taking a while, but you can see it's starting to put out some, some foliage in. Look really nice. Check out my box. They just they just took some shape, man. They, they really got big. I'm gonna, tree, I'm gonna turn that back. I'm gonna make them into like a round wall. So they really get big. Then I'll make them one big edge. Come over here, the knockout rows. They look performing too. They look nice. The Korean lilac. Really looks stunning. What a beautiful centerpiece. I don't want to forget the bobo. The bobo right here. Of course a weed. Can't stand them. And as we walk down, all you guys see is this this boxwoods. The American boxwoods. Looking good. 
don't mind me, man. I'm a police beef out if I see them. But if you get to the front, you guys get to see the some new addition that I did. This is the sweet romance lavender. I put it all the way in the front. Back there to see it all the way. We got sweet romance coming down. And these are these don't get big. They stay about 15 to 16 inch. So we put them all the way in the front, go straight across. They look real nice. So if you point the camera, you see the box switch. You see everything that we have going on in there. But the sweet romance in about July, we'll see the show. When it starts to warm up, it's gonna really steal the steal the show. So yeah, this is Not gonna have everything complete. We're gonna try, but these Oscars, man, they just shine. These are these things. The show is so shiny. So right now, we keep working. All right, guys. I want to thank you guys so much. If you made it this far in the video, really appreciate it. So we just wanted to walk you guys through what we're doing this year, especially with the vegetable bed. You know, there's still more stuff to come that I haven't introduced you guys to. But when you get to see it, when you get to see the vision of what we're trying to accomplish, you guys should be really surprised, right? And don't forget, very important that you do this. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You know, the YouTube algorithm love videos like this. So when you do that, it's gonna help everyone out in the community, right? But other than that, we're gonna catch you guys on the next one. We out.